Alright everyone, I really should, um, I kind of forgot that, no, I showed one post-patch fights, they have someone called like the Moon Lord, not, not the Moon Lord, I forget what they're called, but they added a new enemy, I believe, and they do so much stress damage, I'm not a huge, huge fan of it, that it's literally right before the boss, this boss is a lot harder now, and it's also decently stress intensive as well, so it's not like it's really a run over of a boss either, so I'm not a huge fan that they actually wreck you pretty hard before you get in here. I mean, you can still do a bunch of stuff, but... Definitely, definitely hurts. Um... It's always the hardest thing. Do I just start soaking damage or protect a little? I want to... We'll protect just a little bit. Because I want to get the Highwayman to point-blank range. Uh, we'll do that. So we're going to try to keep this back row at least blind. What blind's going to do is going to allow us... Yeah, I need to get rid of... Sorry, for some reason I'm failing this fight four times now. And I just have to pause a little bit every time. Just make sure... Oh, there we go. Three stress. That's what I mean. Stress damage out the wa flacken zoo. Now we do have this thing of almost a third dead already, which is nice. Um, okay. Paralyzing fear, probably stunned. No, okay. Man, that's a lot of damage already. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the first half of this fight is the tough one. It's really where you gotta, like, do most of your carnage. And I'll actually do ounce of prevention. I'll get a little, a little bit of stress damage healed. Oh, that's ranged. Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, so he's still good chunky damage, though. Halfway killed. Yeah, There's see, no that's when it starts getting time. insane. And, uh, Defender is ranged, I believe. So that is gonna suck a lot. Because I would really love to guard. I'm gonna do Noisemaker, actually. Make them attack me here. Not quite yet ready to leave there. Um, we are going to heal there. Uh, we can guard, but yeah, we'll guard. Well, we'll bolster. There's really actually not a lot of single attacks, in all honesty, that go on the back row. There's usually a combination kind of thing. So in all honesty, it wasn't really worth doing the uh, defender right there. Definitely try to keep that stress damage down. It'll allow us for some other potential areas here. Um, want to keep in wild hack range. So I tell you, what, I will defend now. And now I can blah blah blam. There we go. 18, really good. We'll get the repose back up after this. I can blinding gas. Yep. Shoo, that was really stupid of me. I had the milk bandages on. I'll still have to do it next turn. But yeah, that was almost really dumb of me. Nice miss, nice repose. Um, could kill it with the critical. But not today. Um, right here. Ooh, one HP. I'm gonna be really mad if I get um denial of whatever the melee one next. That sucks so bad. Nice miss. Alrighty. Okay. Is this stress heal denial of reach? Nope. Not at all. Wait, this one's denial of reach. I thought that one was denial of reach. Did they mix them up on me? Oh, I did not look. Whoops. Um, trying to figure out who's going to do the least amount of damage here. Who do I want to go last? We'll do the... Well, okay. Hold on. What do I want to do? First off, I think I want to heal the Man of Arms. The Plague Doctor eventually becomes not useless, but the use does start to fade a little bit. I'll tell you what, I might bolster. Nah, it doesn't matter who I bolster. I'm gonna just bolster you. Once again, I just like keeping that stress damage a little low. Um, it, it doesn't add up horribly fast, but it can do just enough. I probably should have done 9 into here, and the only reason why I'm saying that is... Oh, Denial of Reach. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. 
Well, that's a bloody shame. Whoops. Forgot about that. Everyone's so melee intensive, I was like, yeah, what the heck, go for it. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, man, that was stupid. That was stupid. Man, they're pounding the back row right now. Holy cow. There we go. Ah, okay, whatever. I guess it pseudo worked out in the end. Not really, but... Denial of reason stress, I want to say. Yeah. Um, now with this, I am going to attack this one right here. Um, get me my bam. There we go. I might take aim next. I think I'm going to take aim next. Uh, we're just going to hit this one. Get a little bit of that love going. Take this off. We'll hit the front one here because they were... Yeah. Now that there's only one possible person I can blind, this is where we just want to turn out the damage. Once we get down... <laughs> Dead Plague Doctor. Oh, man, that sucks. I really thought I had enough HP. Okay, unlucky me, I didn't get one more focus on the Plague Doctor, but I really thought I had enough HP. Apparently. Apparently not. Denial of Fortitude. That's heal, though, right? I can't use... Yeah. Um, so, we'll do that, resisted, okay. Respect, 14. This is just usually how it goes. Uh, may oh, I can do this, though, so I can focus attacks here and then defend her. Okay, so I should be able to keep my Plague Doctor alive, even though I can't use items or skills that will, uh... So, okay, that's not terrible. Then I'll bolster. Just to keep that stress damage down. We're almost there. We're like right there. Um, yeah, let's finish this up. So this one dies. Oh, it was, okay, I still did enough damage. Whew. That was almost terrible. Dead. Oh, oh and a blight. Okay. But if we don't get denial fortitude, there we go. Excellent. Um, man, arms though. Let's go. Excellent. Boom. Look at that. Look at that save. Look at that save. What a save. I actually don't have any good relationships. Um, so this is fairly impressive that, uh, we're doing this well without really getting any, like, constant, um, just random procs. Ooh, how much HP? Yeah, we'll do that. Bring down a little bit of that. Bring down the stress. Get some HP back. I can take this a little slower. I got the novel reached on me, but once again, some more HP, get that DOT off. Bam, easy money. Wasn't a huge damage round, but you know what? This one is dead. We got this one below half HP. So let's go. I tell you what, let's go. Stun, not great, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna focus fire. 10 damage maximum. Yum, yum, yum. Dead, dead, dead. The smallest variable yeah, here we go. Make all the difference. All right. This might be one of the very first times to keep everyone alive. Actually, no, that's a lie. Pre-patch. Pre-patch, it kept everyone alive. Barely, but hey. Barely counts. There is Why am I not going damage? I guess I should have. I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm being cocky now. I should go on damage. Just saying. Keep my people's stress levels low. It's like the only... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I was getting cocky. I didn't need a not attack right there. Especially with that stun. But once I get this play grenade off. Is that one very dead lock? It's one very dead lock. We got one lock left. Um, Hopefully we get to go with the man of arms before that. Or the plague doctor. Denial of reason is as a stress. Holy crap. Lucky me. We're going to bloodlust. Get rid of the... Uh, that. We're gonna do that. Welcome, relief. Boom. Three. Oh. Look how close we were to almost good relationships all around. But we soiled it. Bam. 21. Look at that. Uh, we will just defend the Hellion. Just to make sure if anything weird goes on in the back row, we'll be okay. Blam. 10. Look at that. Ooh. 31 damage. One turn. That flow. GG. Well played. Now, uh, the locks are pretty annoying, but they are still no match. No healing. That's fine. We are at 
the end game. Now we're just gonna attack my folks. Now we're just gonna all damage all day. Um, I'll just bloodlust. I mean, can't do anything else. These these three people should be able to finish it off probably uh, next turn. I could still repost this forward for a point blank, but Wicked Slice is pretty good. So, man, what is their blight resist? I have 25% blight. Dude, they've been crit so friggin' hard. It's not even funny. Some of these have been nasty. And I'm all out of healing, so... It's up to you. Ah, oh, crap. Crit where the Plague Doctor dies. Again. I'm so sorry, Plague Doctor. You always seem to be dying. <laughs> oh, man. Dead. No way. I really thought I was going to die. Alright, there we go. GG. Well played. Plague Doctor lives, hopefully. Yes, Plague Doctor lives. I think one of the first times she makes it. The funny thing is, I have her in, like, probably some of the most... Why am I just doing that? It's for pure gloating. Because we're about to... Oh, let's have a party? Oh, that's right. We can't because it heals. Bump, bump, da 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 bump, bump. Alright. Black Doctor gets to live. She might live in the last one as well. I can't remember. She always ends up on Death's Door because they slam the back row so, so hard. Maybe I should plan for that better, but I did give her more HP and they still did, like, crits for 20. That's just too, too friggin' hard to keep up with. There is so much worse in store. I don't even know if I'm going to unlock stuff. Oh, no, you just keep going. You keep unlocking stuff. Wow. Well, I'll give them credit. There's a bunch of... Gain one hit, 33, oh my gosh, wow. Gain one hit, 33% extra action, 50% occultus only. Oh man, that'd be nice, that'd be nice. High chance positive, low chance minus two for the party, that'd be really nice. Heal 50% minus two positive infinity. Yeah, some of this stuff really makes the game, not a lot, lot easier, but definitely... If you can get your party affi uh, affinity up while reducing the stress, it's certainly amazing. We're going to pick out the last team right here as well. That should be number four on the completion. Uh, that time we had the Hellion in. I really struggled to take off the Plague Doctor guys because of uh, my review. I say the early game so hard with DOTs and stuff. I haven't found anyone else yet that can cure DOTs or blind as well as she does. She's just too overpowered in the early game, which is why I have to pick her. Around the late game, it's not that she falls off, but... Healing DOTs is so important because they just stack up really quick and they also heal your character, which is really nice. So, But I stopped using the Grave Robber. I'm going to stop. I believe I got everything on the Runaway. Yeah, I'll review the Runaway one day. I'll put like an actual video what I think about all of her skills. She's pretty cool. Uh, I used the Jester. So I've used everyone pretty... Oh, I think I've actually used everyone really except for the Occultus. And, ugh... Boy, am I disappointed in the Occultus' starting kit. I'll try to use the Occultus a little more, but I'm not a huge Nothing fan. Save a burning um, to survive. Trying to think of like a... I'm sorry, this just has to be the comp science, like that. That just always has to be the generic comp. Hands. Now, whether you put a Jester in here... Okay, you could put a Jester... I mean, Grave Robber would also be amazing, but that's part of the original. I guess you can't really avoid the originals too much, right? I mean, you'd have to... Because your front row is always so taken away with other stuff that, like, you know... I'm wondering... I really did like this triple, but have a... I think I had the leper instead, so this time would be a highwayman. Man at Arms is a classic, but, oh man, I really love the Grave Robber, though. I'm wondering how this comp would do. I feel like it would be pretty high-octane damage. The only thing I would really struggle with is targeted heals, which is why I'm thinking Jester. Um, we get the evasion. We get the stress heals. We get a lot of blinds. This party is more obviously blind focused because of um smoke screen's really good. What were some of the other stuff I really like to do? Um Carterize is a nice heal. Honestly, we'd put on point blank over tracking shot. Open vein, I don't know. I mean, what, three to five, four to eight, the upside. Oh, it's just so much better in this one. I know I had a discussion about Darkest Dungeon 1, but I think three more damage on the high end. I mean, I don't know. 
It's 10% more critical as well. Ignores 20% death door resistance. Maybe you could still make an effort. Maybe maybe it gets a lot better, but I think right now you'd still have to pick that. So okay, let's try to get some shrines for the. Let's try to get shrines for the jester. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you at the next playthrough.